missed it. Flag is down back in the backfield anyway, and Smith Schuster is down. Personal foul. Rushing the passer. Defense number 92. That was 15 yards. Automatic first down. That's an easy call and a good call against Chad Thomas, but now on the other end. They're checking on Smith Schuster, who is still down after that hit. And they're really helmet to helmet hits on both ends of that play. Smith Schuster being walked on. Protected from that tap. Here's a third and ten. Wide open underneath is the tight end, Greg Olson. And Olson. As penalty markers fly, and there's a pile up at the 41 yard line. Ryan Anderson with the initial hit. Well, and you can see the trainers and doctors come out there immediately because uh, he was knocked out immediately. The ball comes loose. That's why the, the Redskins players were coming in because the ball was, was knocked loose. It's good to see Olsen sit up that quickly. Olsen, the 13-year veteran out of Miami. The penalty flag that came down is obviously going to be a helmet-to-helmet. -helmet. It is clearly a fumble, but because of the penalty, the Panthers maintain possession. Olsen able to get up and just walked off on his own. Empty set. Four-man rush. Stafford over the middle. He's got his man wide open. And another leap. And the ball comes out. But they say Hawkinson is down. As now he's hurt. You're just wondering when that was going to happen, unfortunately. With all the leaping going on and his dramatic plays, I hope this young man is all right because he's given full effort. Watch how he comes down. I don't understand why everyone's trying to do this. To be honest, and I will tell you, this is not coached. Okay, there's no coaching. Because I think in the high school level, you cannot hurdle. You can't do it at all. Colleges are talking about changing the rule to the high school level, and we'll see what happens. They tend to the outstanding rookie tight end T.J. Hawkinson, and with that, we'll be right back after this. Quick throw pass is caught for a big first down and that's Robert Tanyan third string tight end and a players down for Philly that's Maddox this was a tight space you see that Tanyan's able to go in there there's the there's the collision right there Sandejo he comes in and it's right there the the hit on Avante Maddox by his own guy Let's look at the catch Strong catch by Tanyan. And this stops the clock. So, Mike, this will be a, on the third catch of the year for Robert Tanyan. His first catch of the night, the collision with Sendejo on Avante Maddox, and they are still looking at him. Philadelphia is out of timeouts now because of this penalty, this Avante Maddox. As he was hit by his teammate Sendejo. And a nice ovation by these fans packed into Lambeau Field. Finley throwing over the middle. He's got his man. That's enough for a first down. Auden Tate. Well, that's just an awkward hit. Take Curtis. trying to get up, and they're going to make him stay there for a bit. Well, Curtis Riley, when he came up and made the tackle, it was just an awkward position with Tate's shoulders and helmet. We can all see him move, but hopefully he's okay. Well, Auden Tate is still on the turf, and they have asked for the cart. And here's what happened. Well, third and 19, and Tate's able to come up with the catch for 20 to get the first down. But Curtis Riley, as he comes up to make that hit, you can see Auden Tate 
as he's going down, you see his helmet gets caught underneath the shoulder pad of Riley. And it just bends his neck into an awkward position. So everybody understands while we were away, Tate was trying to get up. He was trying to get up off the field. He wanted to leave the field on his own. The doctors and trainers for the Bengals made him stay down. They're the ones that called the cart just as a precautionary measure. But I do want his friends and family to know that he was trying to get up off the field to maybe put your mind at ease a little bit. It's one of those things that you can call a cart because it just didn't look good. Yeah. Okay. Tate in his second season out of Florida State. Came into this game with 30 catches for 427 yards and a touchdown. And there's another. Boy, Freeman down the sideline. Knocked out by Jonathan Abram. Gonna tax him more. There is a flag down. It was a gain of 26. And Conley got the worst of that exchange. Royce Freeman goes six feet, 238 pounds. He is a load. That play was blocked well, and it come over on the sideline, Gary on Conley. You just hope he's all right, not moving. Personal foul. Lowering the head to initiate contact. Defense number 24. That penalty team with hard hits. He's just going to have to learn here in this kind of situation. It's, good. it's tough to play defense in the NFL, no question about it, but you're going to have to learn, otherwise you're going to cost your football team. Gary and Conley is the injured player for the Raiders. Third-year player, lost in Week 15. Missed the game in Week 16. Came back in Week 17, and nobody feels worth, worse than Jonathan Abram, his teammate. Yeah, you just hope that uh, they're taking every precaution here. Anytime you're dealing with any head or neck injury, they're going to do this. And uh, you hope that Gary on Conley is, is all right. Heck of a football player. He's had a great camp, and the Raiders have been excited about him in his third year. Steps. Just... Allen trying to run. Oh, he got clobbered. And they call it a helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit on Jonathan Jones. It's a good call by the officials. And Allen is down. Well, he may be out cold as he got hit right on the jaw by Jonathan Jones. Josh Allen trying to get the first down. Harmon contacted him initially, and then there's the hit from Jones. And Allen went down in a heap. And Jones didn't have to do that. Harmon had the tackle. Rudolph airs it out downfield, and the pass is broken up, and a flag for the hit. Randall delivered it. Deontay Johnson got a shot to the head. It was good coverage the entire way, too. Greedy Williams, and, and then right there at the very end of that play. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, that's. That's not good. Demarius Randall with the helmet to helmet in Deontay Johnson. We've seen him down a couple times now tonight. Mike. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense, number 23. Hit on a defenseless receiver. 15 yards from the previous spot, automatic first down. And he is a defenseless receiver, which means as a defender, you can't hit him in the head or neck area with your helmet, shoulder, forearm. Could be conversation after this that goes on to New York as to whether it could be an ejection.